Welcome back everyone. So we have a GMC Traverse or Chevy, sorry, Chevy Traverse here. And almost every Chevy Traverse I see that's a few years old or 10 years old has this problem. It's the broken seat trim. So here's what happens with the broken seat trim. The foam starts to decay in the seat, right? It's not really meant to last forever. And you keep pushing, you keep getting in and out of it, in and out of it, in and out of it. And what it eventually does is breaks breaks the uh the breaks the mounting tabs this one's broken here so this is what the new one is and what happens is let me try and get this a better view for you is that this tab breaks that tab breaks and then it breaks in the back and then you keep keep using it using it, and it breaks more and more and more and then it usually winds up breaking the switch if the switch isn't already bad so you have to try and fix the cause or this is going to happen again um and people who are larger this happens faster too right so what I'm gonna do is if I have any foam, I'm gonna line this underneath a little bit more to keep the compression of this because this is what's going on. And it just keeps, you know, imagine 100 pounds, 200 pounds, 300 pounds, 400 pounds, 500 pounds, just in this area and it's not high density foam, it just keeps popping this apart. So almost every traverse uh, that I see out here has this problem. Um, and then it creates more problems. It can start pulling and pushing pins out of your connectors, destroying the, uh, the uh, switches um, and fix it before it's a problem. Ugh, I don't think I'm going to take you in a tutorial of doing it, but you can see here there's one screw there, one screw there. There's push pins. Um, so I'm going to get this uh, serviced. We're also going to replace the switch here because have the position going back was a problem. Um, but you know, like I said, I see this all the time. We're using all OEM parts OEM parts from the dealer, OEM switch. Looking for hassle fee problems. Thanks for watching.